Oh, you need to eat your green veggies, little kitty. Your height seems not to be growing lately. Well, it does if someone doesn't grow taller according to their age. It can lead to a condition called dwarfism. What's that? That's something I'll explain to you all by answering a vital question. What causes dwarfism? Zoom in. Have you ever noticed how all your friends are of different heights? Some of them are taller, some are in the middle, and some are shorter than others. Well, sure it's somewhat normal for kids to grow at a different speed. But it becomes a matter of concern when someone doesn't hit a certain height by the time they are an adult due to a condition called dwarfism. This condition is represented by a group of short stature adults whose height remains about 4 feet and 10 inches or 147 centimeters or less. They fall into one of two classes, namely proportionate and disproportionate. In the proportionate class, the heads and limbs are in proportion with the rest of their body. Those under the disproportionate class have shorter hands and legs as compared to the rest of their body. But the crucial question is, what can lead to dwarfism? Well, researchers believe there are more than 100 factors that can lead to short stature. But a common reason is, when the pituitary gland of the brain produces too little growth hormone in the body, it can also happen due to random genetic changes inherited from one or both parents. But depending on the type of dwarfism, two average height parents can have a child with short stature. And it's also possible for two parents with dwarfism to have an average height child. Additional causes may include deficiencies in other hormones, poor nutrition or genetic conditions like skeletal dysplasia, which is a category of rare genetic disorders that affect bones and joints and hinder children's growth and development. I know what you are thinking. Is there a way to treat this condition? Well, not all. But fortunately, there are some types of dwarfism doctors can treat by injecting growth hormones that can help someone achieve a close to average height. Other methods include performing surgeries that include lengthening and straightening of bones. And in case there is no genetic or medical condition involved, then simply eating a healthy diet full of green vegetables and fruits and ample physical exercise can solve the short height issues in many kids. But remember my friends, unfortunately, many short individuals have to face a lot of discrimination in society due to a lack of awareness about it. At times, shorter kids are mercilessly trolled by their classmates for their condition and are also considered less intelligent, which is very wrong. We need to understand that besides some physical challenges, people with short stature are smart and intelligent individuals living a normal life like anyone else. In fact, little people often find clever ways to do things in the average sized world. But at the same time, it is our moral duty to be kinder to them, treat them equally and provide any support to make their journey easier. And for individuals who are facing this condition, remember to be comfortable with who you are and who knows, you can become the next big star. Trivia time! Did you know 80% of little people are born to average-sized parents? 
Also, there are an estimated 30,000 people with dwarfism in the United States and 651,700 in the world. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs>